Not so Freudian here. Welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Afterworth Plus Dailies. Uh, you're Isaac today. Oh, it's the what's his bucket's birthday. Okay, so we have the cartridge and the game kid, and I think everything is going to be Zelda themed. I forget exactly. Not Miyamoto, uh, I don't remember his name. Crap. Uh, I Iwata? Iwata? I don't remember. But yeah, anyway, special day. There are, um... What's the word? Things. Like, so we get item rooms and so on. Oh yeah, and sorry about... If my voice audio is strange, the uh, arm that holds the microphone on my headset has died. So it's the microphone's just dangling. OBS says that I'm getting, like, that it's picking up what I'm saying, but we will see. for a secret room and a super secret room. So, yeah. I thought using the game kit was supposed to give me health. I know it did. Never mind. I just didn't see the little health indicator. Ah, I forgot to grab a charge for that. That could actually cause me to die. Or not die, but like lose my double room chance. Because I could wind up in a room that I... Um, would otherwise have avoided getting hit if I were able to go invincible for a few seconds. Okay, one key. I'm not likely to get enough money to go to the shop. Although that could help. Well, the problem is I could go to the shop and buy a um, soul heart though. And that could be super important. Take this with me. Shoot all the poop. And as the poop is shot, <clears throat> one hit the enemies. I can go pick up the counterfeit penny in order to. go to the item room because this could be a major influence in survival. It's probably not going to be, because, but it is a damage up. Speed slightly down, but I had already gotten the you know, good speed up. Weird stuff. 
slow down. That's annoying, but not crippling. Two good places for the super or for the secret room. Only one great place for the super secret room, actually. So I probably will just go there. Or try there. Okay. Guess not. How is that not? This is amazing. Nine lives is as well. Just gotta make sure you take them in that order. And next floor. Alright, so I'm gonna wind up. I got a DPS up, but it didn't even like raise my damage to Kane or Judas or uh, what's his buckets starting damage. Counterfeit penny means I should, you know, just get a crap load of money over time. It takes four shots to kill these with this amount of damage. That's annoying. Guppy's head. Definitely gotta go to the shop first. Oh, I should have used the thing to save half a heart. Oh. Well, okay. Okay, good. The shop. 
top was way down somewhere. I've already blown up a keeper, but I do have a gold bomb, so I'll go ahead and do that. I've got enough money, and this is probably going to be helpful enough. I just gotta remember to lose it. It's a book. But I have gold bombs. There we go. Magic mushroom. The problem is I'm just friggin' enormous. Of course now I'm probably not gonna use the candle much. Because my tears are much better than they were. And I get coins from the tears sometimes. <coughs> I'm just going to keep this because my tears have gotten good enough. Okay, that was counterfeit penny. That's not something that's going to cripple me. Yeah, and just turning hearts into money. Especially with counterfeit penny. So I'm seriously considering taking Cursed Eye. Thanks to the way it works with Incubus. Like, Incubus is amazing with Cursed Eye. And of course it sends me in here, but at least I can do this, which I was thinking of right as I was like, wait a minute, I can, I can pick up that heart and then go to that room. The room's counting is cleared. Half a heart there. I 
could be a super secret room, but I don't know yet. <clears throat> I should blow him up because there's a chance it gives me um, the coupon or the other greed thing. I forget what it's. Steam sale. Or just a nickel and an invested. Not what I would have asked for, but it's not unwelcome. Thing two rooms down actually is the best spot for a super secret room. So I may as well check. Yep. <coughs> hey, I even asked for you no. Know, I asked for Binky. Mr. Doll is even better. So I'm going to have a shop. Yeah, I'm basically... What's her name? Uh, Lilith. With, um... The ability to shoot my own tears as well at this point. Getting plus two tears... Isn't worth losing the damage right now. Look at how fast I'm already shooting. Alright, 
I was about to say crap, I went to the item room before I went to the shop, but then this wound up not mattering. The converter's probably not going to do much for me. Like, I can make myself a heart container or two. Oh, why don't I? Gives me stuff to trade. That's not the super seeker room. So this is the only good place for it. There's a couple other places that are legal, but they're so far away that um, the odds are low. Sorry, that came on too quickly for me to mute the microphone. Bounced off and grabbed that on accident. Oh, you know what? Sleep in the bed. That refills that. I would take a blood bag just for the, um, to max out my speed, I guess. Now that I'm looking at it, I really need to max out my speed. I feel slower than 1.8. I don't know if your size stat has to do with that. Feels like a sounds like I'm playing Fatal rather than Isaac. That game might be even more messed up than this one. Alright, Hagalaz. Terrible, terrible dog hit again. Black candle, though, is 
really good. It's like the item rooms are Zelda themed. Okay, I do have a gold key, so I'm not going to be pissed off at myself for that. Well, I got that from the boss fight then. Might as well just use that. Nothing in there I care about. I got a key back. I'm trying to remember which, uh, whatchamacallit, I just gulped. And it was the double moon, so there's actually two secret rooms. I found one. Unfortunately, I'm honestly not sure how it decides how to, um, spawn the other ones. The other one. Although, just on a later note to that misspeak, oh, nice. I wonder if using, uh, like if I had Mom's box, because you know Mom's box doubles the. effectiveness of your trinkets. So a curved horn gives you plus four damage, etc. But if you do that, will you get three secret rooms? If you've got the double moon card? There's a sacrifice room on this floor. I should sacrifice almost all the way. Like, not all the way, all the way. <clears throat> Alright, so it's either Mr. Fred or Double Trouble Boss. enough batteries and stuff lying around. Okay. That, being able to, like, regain all that health will help me to teleport later. Oh, there isn't a second secret room, I guess. Alright, so I guess that's not what the double moon card does. Unless Ansa's only shows like what would have been the original secret room. Holding two things doesn't help much. Oh. 
Guess that means I didn't have to take guppies, huh? Tail. Well, crap, if I hadn't used Ansu's, I could have taken it with me. I missed a key up there, I guess. Which actually is important now that I think about it. So, coming back into here, after finding a sacrifice room, thank god there's one make you small available. There's a sacrifice room, being able to yarra that room for extra health will be big help. Alright, well that lets me get out of a sacrifice room, or a crap room, for, curse room for free. Alright, I do not want the pill. Ollie's is good though. So this looks like a secret room. So the whole multiple secret room thing does work. I just wonder why the other one had it. Ah, screw it. <clears throat> I actually might have been able to make it to uh, Hush if I had dashed. Although now that I think about it, my only damage up this game is still, um, You know, is a good damage up. And my only tears up is, uh, and damage. Oh my gosh. You know what? I have too much health already. So I'm just going to take that for the speed up. I just remember to grab this. Yeah, like I've already got too much health for the Polaroid to matter. So I'll just do that. Of course it makes a ghost that hides in an annoying spot. Okay, got the key back and two bombs. Key back, three bombs. I'm 
honestly really surprised at how low my bombs have been. Like, normally by now you've got a comfortable number of bombs. I mean, like, you know, Guppy's collar means I don't have a comfortable number of keys, really. You know, but that's normal for, hey, you know, you got Guppy's. Alright, there are three places that could be sacrifice rooms. This one is not. Bombs are key. Probably isn't gonna matter much either way. good for health. That I don't know. Alright, turn the dodge. Let's just take the damage up. Does this work with Incubus? It does. Alright, so down there is the last place that can possibly be a sacrifice room. I don't want to gulp the left hand when I've already got Guppy. That one showed the other. And there's a chance there's a forgetting now, but a uh, other secret room, I guess. Or, you know, a red chest somewhere with a devil or teleport. Although the shovel wouldn't help. So I don't think the shovel can take me. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah, I'm sure the shovel doesn't take me to shoal from here. I'm not gonna die in here, so the missing poster is gonna that's it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe if you would, and I'll see you guys next time.